What, are you Christian just you? because your parents were Christian? Well, like if, if your that, that is a deep question because I'm wondering. Are you convinced by it? Just elders, yeah. looking after the youngsters, yes. being honest, yes. working hard, yes. looking after your parents. Yes. We agree. We agree. Yes. Yes. Don't that lie. Don't lie. Yes. Don't cheat. Yes. yes. Don't commit adultery, etc. We all agree. That don't don't that murder. That's the one truth. Okay. But. Why who, is there a but? Let me give you. I'm going to give you an example. I'm giving an example. Let's say Jesus. Hello, oh, no, sir. You okay? I'm the. No, but let's say let's say Jesus. Oh, you can join. You can join. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's say Jesus. Yeah. When Jesus came, we believe Jesus came approximately 2,000 years, years ago, ago, according to history. Yeah. When, when Jesus came, Thank you. we believe he said that he was a messenger Thank sent you. by God yes. to call people to worship God alone. Okay. But people, they differed concerning him. Some people, they said that he's a false prophet, that his mother had a child outside wedlock. Yeah. which in those days was a great crime, more than it is considered today. So that's one group of people. Some people, they said Jesus is a messenger and God is one and we will worship God alone. And then after Jesus was taken up, some people began to say that Jesus was God and he's part of God. Okay, so we have three groups of people. I am saying they all can't be right. All they can't all can't be right. Be right. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. All all obviously, history, right. yeah. they are yeah. always if, if yeah. only one that yes. will be right. Yes. All cannot Correct. be right. Yes. No. So, okay. uh, okay. so that's my point. Even yeah. even though we Sorry. agree on some aspects, Sorry. yes, yes. But you see, there's one thing about history. Yes. They are always the other sides of history. Yes, of course. So regardless of how true whatever it is, yes. we are willing to available to one hundred percent. Yes, yes. There's always another uh -huh. side of the story. Yes, that we have also had. Yes, but we have decided to what accept one part of it. Uh -huh. Yes. Right? So, for me, I don't really think religion matters so much uh -huh. because we can all differentiate between good and bad. Uh -huh. That is what matters to me. Uh -huh. So I don't really mind if someone is an Islamic uh -huh. or is a Buddhist. But Most a person understands uh -huh. too. That's what goes for. That's what goes for. But can all three of these be right? That those who said, like, okay, they all of them. I'm saying that all of them. They all. Uh -huh. We all are able to distinguish between good and wrong. But we are. Can you? We are. We are this time. No, no. But, that, but, but that's my point. Pictures. My point I'm is. I'm a Christian. Okay. Uh -huh. right? But I'm saying that. But if, as, as an Islamic, yes, you can differentiate between good and wrong. But these three groups I mentioned. These three groups I mentioned concerning Jesus. If all of them, they look after their parents. All of them, they conduct their business in an honest manner. In an honest manner. All of them conduct their business in an honest manner. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They done the things we agree upon. Yeah. Okay. All of. Oh. I really don't mind. No, 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 you don't mind. To make your point. So but, to make his point. But. Yeah. One of them said Jesus is a false prophet. Yeah. One of them says he is a man, he is a prophet. And one of them said, no, he is God. Yeah. Even if they conduct their affairs correctly, when they return to God, he is going to hold them account for this as well. So we, we need to find out what is correct. So for example, when Jesus was on the earth, if someone said, look, I believe in Moses, I follow the law of Moses, I don't need Jesus. We would say this person has rejected a messenger sent by God, therefore he has rejected God. But you would just say God doesn't mind or you don't mind. But if I you don't really mind. I know you don't mind, but does God mind? <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. When you go into scriptures, yeah. even what transcends through all religion yeah. is good. 
Is it bad? No, you are not getting his point. I get his point, but I really don't mind about his point no, about Christianity. That, I think he gets my point. Yeah, like, I get his point. Yeah. I just he's really getting, don't he mind. Point, yeah. He's really trying to he's go behind, like, avoid it. The, yes. Yes. I don't really want to have that like, conversation. Yeah. Now, whose religion is the best? If you, if you don't come up plainly, because you become, you become, a water in the mouth, which is not hot, which is not cold, so you have to be peeled away from mouth. That's what Jesus said. So you have to stick and know, because you cannot say you don't mind. If you don't mind, this you are a lukewarm person, and you have to be. Jesus will spill you out because you are not worthy. Okay, that one is one. Now you cannot say this or that because you can never enter into the kingdom of God no matter what you say. You, I, must, you must define. You must define sir, sir. where you're going. So you, see, you cannot he, say what he wants down. You are talking like no, no, an no, atheist. No, 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 sir. Or a pagan. <laughs> or a pagan. Sir, 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 pagan. sir, sir. No, what, no. what is? No, no, look. You don't give I'm a Christian. Ma, no, I'm a Christian. I know, I know, sir. Yeah, I sir, know, I know. sir. Uh, I, I think before. Yeah. Look, look. For example, I I, I'm a Muslim. Yeah. I'm going to give you my reason why Islam is true. This gentleman is a Christian. He's going to. But. Before that, I'm trying to establish a foundation that the truth should be one. Yes. But without that, it doesn't matter. He, he can say, well, that's, you can explain yourself and he can say, very good, sir. I can explain myself and he yeah. can say, very good, sir. And that then he will go shopping in the sales. You have to rely on but but there, has to be, there has to be truth and false. That is why I'm saying yeah. that what transcends yeah. to all religion is truth. It's not, okay. It's not, my friend. Okay, but when it's one, when, when, because it's from your You're perspective, not were you born into You're not Christianity? Christian. You were born into Islam. No, no. no listen, that's that that, the, that don't one. Don't I don't go. I don't agree with you. That's me because <laughs> no, I really listen. don't mind. But don't talk like that. But, it's not a but, but then, then, people, then there's no point in God sending messengers. There's no point God sending messengers. There's no point God sending books because. Because you see, I don't know. Myself, I should I'm telling you, you, my brother, you, you are not to, yeah. to preach Christianity to you. Uh -huh. No. Why, why not? should I do that? No, no. If you believe listen. it's true and I will go to the hellfire, then you, you should. Be, yes, he's telling why should you I it's think true. you go why should no, I no, think no. you go to hell? Because if you're Christian, you would believe that. Yes. Because but you're, you're like, because he's not a Christian. Because, he's not a Christian. because, because your book he's, says he's, he's I am the way, I am the light, I am the truth. No one will get to the Father except through me. Yes. That's what that's what Christianity is. Why I believe it. So why should I put it on you? No, no, no. Tell me, like, why? It on him. That's, uh, that, that's why I believe you. You have to put okay. it on him so why that you will not go to hell. hell. No, no, no. So, so that's the point. Yes. So I should you try to... You don't feel so that you will not go to hell because no, no. you believe you He will also come and tell you that. So exactly. He's, that's what I'm saying. He's not putting your truth on So that is the point we are making. You don't put your truth on someone. You have to. Why not? If you know it's true. Why not? That is what I don't want to better word you give me. You give me two sides of the question. I think the better word. Yeah. Yeah, brother, brother, I think a better word, if you're a Christian or you're a, a Buddhist or a Muslim, yeah. once you've received the word or the truth, yes. it should be an obligation on you yes. to convey this. Yes. Not to force, exactly. but to convey it. To convey it. Yes. So give me two sides of the No, even before convey. you convey it, to accept it. So you cannot say, so you cannot say. You like, have to say. Like, for, so for example, accept, that is it. do you believe Jesus so is God that's what, that's, or do you believe he was a prophet? You don't put your feet on someone. I know you are Give me two sides of Muslim. I'm asking you what you no, no, believe. Muslim, your sister is a Muslim. I'm from the Catholic family. It doesn't mean you are from Europe. No, no, no. 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 No, no, matter to me what yeah. Islam says uh, because that is not my religion okay what matters to me uh, I understand <laughs> Islam yeah what teaches what <laughs> and teaches what good Islam doesn't teach evil okay and so I'm okay with that I really don't no, you see really don't mind uh, you see and this is the term mm. as a Christian there are some people that doctrine is different from even like you see the Christian, like their way doctrine different. is different from another person's, another Christian's doctrine. Yeah, you get it. So even in the even truth, in Christianity, one person's truth is different from another person's. No, but we're talking about what is God's truth. Yes, yeah. that's something perspective. People interpret God. Are you Christian just because your parents were Christian? Well, 
Like if, if you're that, that is a deep question because I'm wondering. Are you convinced by it? Just, just hold on. Yeah. I'm wondering. Yeah. What if my parents were Muslims? Uh -huh. Right. It means I would have been Islamic. Uh huh. Yes. Is that going to change? But, no. That's why it's asking you. Or if that's why your, are you wh whatever. So that shouldn't even that shouldn't matter to me. It should. It you know should. why? No, why should? So if, should. if I'm an Islam, does it mean I'm going to hell? Can I no, can I ask a question? Things, if, if, because if, I will understand the teachings. Why, okay. What if, now, now, what if your why parents? Why if your London, why you why your parents are poor? Sorry. If your parents are poor. If my parents are poor. If your you parents are poor, poor. Should, should you should you remain poor, poor or should you try to improve your life yeah. and improve your parents' life? There's poor and rich. No, no, that's right. A, no, but you yeah. know what I mean. Poor, I understand where you're hardship, but, difficulty, but, but, poverty. But, but the yeah. thing is, yeah. there's poor and rich. Yes. So the opposite of poor is rich. What's the opposite of Christianity? No, it's no not, what's the opposite of truth? It's not also, the opposite of truth. No, no, you see, I don't yeah. really want to answer those questions no, because you are not, it doesn't really matter. Like, no. it doesn't really matter to me. It it does. Does. Do you understand? Uh, one because, one point that. Kevin, like, no, I'm an, I want you to ask Christian? you a question. If no. you were born into an Islam family, right? Are you going to understand that Christianity is evil or no, it takes no. you to hell? No, no, you're not you are not getting what you say. No, no. I, I would say that regardless of what you're born into, yes. when the truth comes to you, you are certain. Like, what's in, your truth? In the Quran, it mentions, The Quran says, when it is said to the people, follow what God has sent down, they say, no, we are only going to follow what we found our forefathers upon. Most if not all the messengers, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, they all had this from their people. When they were sent by God to call people to worship God alone, many people said, no, my father done this, my people done this, my tribe done this. My... But no, if God sends something down, you have to accept it. The problem, I, without being disrespectful, you are. You ignored me. No, I was trying to. Is it. Is it. Earlier when you came that way, I said to you. But I'm sure I'm not. No, 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 no. I would never ignore you. Sister, I would not ignore you. I'm not sure it wasn't you. It was you. No, it wasn't. Why would I ignore you? Oh, you can do it. Anyway. See, the thing is. You see, you use the word regardless. I like that word. Ah. Uh -huh. You said that if you are born into a family, yeah. in your family, at least, this particular religion, maybe Islam yeah. or Christian, yeah. there's a teaching, obviously, that you are going to accept. Yeah. And as a person, you understand the teachings, and it's dependent on you to believe whether those teachings are right, or it's the truth, or it's wrong. Uh -huh. right? But you said regardless. So basically, you're even telling me it really doesn't matter. No, I'm so telling regardless. No. Regardless of the family My mind was distracted because they were shouting <laughs> behind me, sorry. No, what I'm saying is, regardless of what you're born into, if the truth comes to you, you have to accept it. You cannot say, I'm just going to follow the way of my forefathers. Exactly, yes. that's yeah. what I'm saying. That. Yeah. So who determines that is the truth? Is it you or what you are listening to? Or what is being taught, what you are being taught? Is it's it you or... Research. And that is history because yeah. you came to meet whatever is, has been in existence. So, that's years. The so when you say so, you have to be open. So to, that is why you have to be open to look. The point. So yes. that's why I'm telling you that my point about religion doesn't really matter to me. Whether no, you're born into Islam, you're born into Christian. No. Okay. Your should point, that matter? Your point yes. From what we're saying, should that matter? According, yes, according, matter to, to, according to Christianity, it matters. According and, to Christianity, yes. No. And, and according to Islam, it matters. Because Islam is Islam is teaching. Islam is teaching. If you don't accept Islam. Islam and worship God alone and follow no, the messenger, you will be in the hellfire forever. I'm saying that you're Christianity you're is gonna, teaching. You're going to accept yeah. one religion. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is, yeah. should that matter? Yes. In the, I'm coming. Because you want to be judged on it. Just, just yeah. hold on. Should yeah. that matter that I should try to preach my truth to someone to tell the person that their, their understanding or their belief is wrong? Should that matter? Yes. I'll tell you That's why. That's why I really don't I, care. I, I'll tell you why. Do you care? In, in, about, I don't like about trying to preach. You see, I don't, I don't agree. There's a lot of stuff that we've actually came to meet in this entire world. When you talk about research, 
Trust me, you can research into so many religions uh -huh. that prove to you why their religion is the best. Am I right or wrong? No. Exactly. So I said if, no. Even if you, <laughs> I, said, I said if you no. Find Buddhists, yes. Buddhists are going to tell you that their religion uh -huh. is the perfect. Yes. Right. So does it mean that? Hence why we need to have this conversation. If you are saying perfect, in yeah. the form, yes. the truth. That's why he's asking you. Like, like the, exa the, exa the example I gave. No, when you're talking about the truth, a truth for a Muslim is the Quran. The truth for you must be your Bible. Bible. Yes. So, so we can have a look at the two books and see which one is the truth. Yes. Now, and who nowhere, it? nowhere in the Bible does it say it's the word of God. It doesn't even make that claim. The Quran makes that claim, but it also offers a challenge. If there was anything, if this was not the word of God, you would find many contradictions. So what we have to do, you can have an opinion, he can have an opinion. That's fine. You have your belief, he has his belief. But we must seek the truth. The truth That's is what, the revelation that... What you just said is where I stand. Uh, no, <laughs> you don't stand there. The, the, the uh, revelation why? comes down. So, Your stance is my truth, I can I can follow, and I'm not going to tell you, and you follow, and I'm not going to tell... <laughs> that, say, for example, this is a... If, if, if I know that if you walk this way, that there are some uh, criminals there, and they are robbing people, should I just let you walk there, or should no. I tell you? No. I, I should tell you. That comes back to where I was coming from. Give me two sides of the coin. Yes. Let me decide what I want to go. That's but you've already yes. decided. No, you have. This, what, this is why? The thing. No. You said you are a true believer of Christianity. No. no, no. You are not getting my point. You are, no, Christian. you are not yeah, getting yeah, my point. Yeah, I understand. No, we are talking about religion. That, like, yeah. Then you said like you are a Christian. Yeah. No, so what, no matter what he's going to tell you, because he's not bringing another side of Christianity. He's no. telling you. Oh, I'll, I'll tell because you. I'll you tell you Christianity. I will tell you. No, 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 no. I will. I will tell you why Islam is true and why I believe Christianity is wrong. You've decided that this is what. No, we are talking about religion. That was just an example. I'm coming somewhere. Let me come. You are going this way. You believe that this is the only place that's taking you to wherever you are going to. And he comes to tell you that there are armed robbers here. This is an alternative route here. You are safe here. And you're like, no, I'm going this way. He has given you two sides of the coin. Yes. And you have decided that you are going this way. When you go there and whatever happens to you, yes. you can't say no one told so you now, where you are coming. So now, related to what we are talking about, now, he, he's, now, now, are now, you now, bringing now Christianity or you are bringing Islam? He's bringing the truth. His, what is the truth? Islam. Now we're going to Islam. It. Islam. So he's going back to my point. I'm telling you that you have already told him you are a Christian. Whatever he's bringing, and Christians don't believe whatever no. Islam sees. No. Brother, brother, you brother. See, yeah, is that the case? But, 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 but there are Christians. Right. But the thing no, is, let, is let's make thing. it simple. I think between me and this gentleman, the discussion is. Is Islam true or Christianity true? It's yes. one or the other. Is that, is that your point? But yes. you, but your, that, then that's not two sides to but, the point. But your, that's two sides to yes. the point. Yes, but your, but your, <laughs> but your point is, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've, I've okay. said. Is Jesus God? Why, why is it Jesus God? It's actually your question. Is Jesus God? Is Jesus, Jesus God? Is the way. No. Is, is Jesus, God. is Jesus is God. Jesus God? He is the way. No. He's the light. No, no, no. He's the truth. No, Frank. Yeah, to God. God. Is this as you know the good thing in Ghana uh -huh. <laughs> is if you talk like this to the teacher, they can. <laughs> but I'm asking a simple question: Is Jesus God? Is Jesus but God? that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says He's God the, the way. Father. No, no. The Bible says God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three persons in one God. Means Jesus is part of God. That means Jesus but is God. Not, isn't it the same Bible that says He's the way? Yes, He's the truth. He's he the light. The, yes, the Bible makes so, that statement. So, so no, the Bible makes that statement. So the Bible also says that God the Father, yes. God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Who is the Son? Who is the Son? Who is the Son of God? Who is the Son? Jesus Christ. Jesus, yes. And it's a God the Son. Yes. God the Son. Yes. Jesus is God. Yes. Jesus is part of God. If you are part of something, this your arm. Is it Frank or is it not Frank? Well, probably we have different understanding so, of the Bible. So here, because you cannot tell me, because <laughs> the same Bible tells you that he brought his son okay. onto the earth. So okay. I don't really want to go like all, so, all this stuff. So, this gentleman, Kevin Yusuf Frank, yes. Kevin, he believes Jesus is God. As a Muslim, 
the Quran teaches that whoever says Jesus is God is a disbeliever. And that person, if I just, will go to hell. <laughs> let, me, let me show you the verse. <laughs> So give him two sides of the coin. I'm out of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but you see, I get that's what I'm saying. When you I'm out of this. But the Bible tells you that. This he's man. Part of. <laughs> see, this man, his his bottom line, his foundation is very problematic. <laughs> <laughs> but he knows the Bible doesn't teach that Jesus is God. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah. So you can help each other. <laughs> No, the Bible doesn't teach that Jesus is God. I'm not saying Jesus is God. Not saying Jesus is God. No, he asked. That's I'm why saying that he asked yeah. the question. I'm asking the question. Is Jesus, Jesus God? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You can never thing. say Jesus is God. Uh -huh. No one because it's that same God. Bible that yeah. tells you that he brought his son onto the earth. Uh -huh. That but the Bible tells... says God the Father, God the Son. It does. Exactly. So but it doesn't. It re no, I'm regardless. Saying, I'm not saying Jesus is God. Yes. I'm saying that the Bible says that it's three persons in one God. Jesus. Yes. God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. Yes. So I'm not saying that I'm not I'm not saying Jesus is God. I'm saying that I can is say God. Jesus yeah. is my God. No, you, uh, you can't let, say let me just tell God. you what the Quran says. The Quran says, I'll tell you the Arabic then the English. لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهُ الْمَسِيحُ بْنَ مَرْيَمُ وَقَالَ مَسِيحُ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلُ اعْبُدُوا اللَّهُ رَبِّي وَرَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ مَا يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْجَنَّةَ مَأْوَاهُ النَّارُ وَمَا لِلظَّالِمِينَ مِنْ أَنْصَارٍ so the Quran says in chapter 5, verse uh, 72, Verily, though they have disbelieved who say that the Messiah, Jesus, is God. And verily the Messiah, he said, O children of Israel, worship God, my Lord and your Lord. Whoever makes partners with God, then this person paradise is forbidden for them. And in the hereafter, and their abode will be the hellfire. And for the wrongdoers, there is no helpers. So Islam is teaching that Jesus is not God. Oh God yeah. Yes. So, and if Christianity is teaching that He is God, then we both can't be right. They are not teaching He is God. Yeah. They are saying He is one in God. Okay, so He's not God. He's not God. He is one okay. in God. So That's we agree. Making the point that yeah. God the Father, God yeah. the Son, God is. Three persons in one God, so he is one in God. What does that mean? Do you believe? Do you believe the Father is God? Yes, I believe the Father is God. Do you believe the Son is God? I believe the Son is part of God. Part of God. He's one in God. So, do you believe the Holy Spirit is God? I believe the Holy Spirit is one in God. Can I tell you what the Orthodox Christianity teaches? Yeah, what do they teach? The, they believe that. The Father is fully God. Yeah. The Son is fully God. The Holy Spirit it's fully is fully God. I didn't All know. these three are one. They are co-equal, co-eternal. But now what you said is neither Islam or Christianity, according to Orthodox Christianity. Because you said that Jesus the Son of, is the Son of God and He's Part of God. Yes. Is the only part. He's one in God. What does that mean? I don't know how, how I explain this, but he is not God, but he is of God. What do you, when you say he's of God, what do you mean? That he's because we we believe look, Jesus was a man. He was born from the Virgin Mary as a as a, a miracle, a miraculous birth, but he was a human being. He used to eat food, he used to become tired, he used to worship God and he called mankind to worship God and he never said he was God. He did not share anything in divinity. So but Christianity is, says no, he's fully God. This is how Christianity believes. Christianity believes that yeah. he was already with God yeah. in paradise and he was sent to come and deliver the music. And he had to come in, in the form of man. Uh -huh. You get it. So, Christ, Christ, like what I was raised like, yeah. the Christian doctrine I was taught, that yeah. he was one in God in paradise. Yes. And he came in human form uh -huh. to share the message. Doesn't mean that, that doesn't teach us that he didn't exist until he came in human form. Yes. He said that he already existed with God eternally. Eternally. Then he came in human form. So you know, I was now sent in human form 
So you believe he was God and then he came in a human no, form? No, he was God. Yeah. He was with God. So he, he wasn't came. so he wasn't God. But yes, he was with God. But he, he wasn't came. God. I've, the teacher doesn't tell me that he is God. Uh -huh. The teachings I've, I've been taught in the, my Christian life, no one hasn't been mentioned that he is God. Is he a separate being to God? Is he separate to God? He's separate to God in what sense? I don't get like he's separate to God. Like me and you, we're yeah. both human beings, yeah. but we're separate. Yeah. We're two human beings, we exist yeah. separately. Yeah. Does Jesus exist separately to the Father? He is the son of the Father. Okay, you and your Father, yeah. do you exist separately? Yes. What, like you see, when you say exist separately, there are certain things that affect... Excuse me, sorry. No problem, no problem. My dad is calling. Let me... No problem. Just a minute. No problem, take your time. So, yeah, because I think we, we agree that the truth should be one yeah. and if we are saying two different things we both can't be right yes okay so either i am right and you are wrong I am right. or you're right and i'm wrong or we're both wrong we we could no, both be, we in, could in, both in, be in, in principle in principle yeah, yeah, okay, in principle yeah, in principle yeah. but we if we're saying opposite things we both can't be right yeah in, in matters of truth and false yeah. Preference, what I like, what you like, we could, we can differ, yeah. but in truth and false, no. Yeah. So, when we're discussing uh, in Islam, Islam teaches that God is one, He is alone and absolute. Doesn't have a son. Doesn't have a son, doesn't have any partners, doesn't have any equals. He alone deserves to be worshipped. And it teaches that this is the message of all the messengers, including Jesus. Okay. Now, when we compare that to what you're saying, the concept of God and Jesus, without being disrespectful, it's not even clear what you're saying. Because you're saying that Jesus is not God, but He is of God. He's one in God. Oh, He's one in God. Yeah. But what does that mean? Does that mean He is God or He isn't God? He isn't God. He isn't God. Yeah. Okay, so then we agree, but you've disagreed with Christianity. That, so you see this, that, that's something different. Well, there's different interpretations of in the, Christianity. The Christian, in the, yes. And that's us yes. making a point to my friend. That's, that's how I made the clear to you that the Christian teaching I was taught okay. growing up. Yeah. You never mentioned him that. Okay, no Jesus problem. Christ is God. No problem. Yeah. Now, in Islam, when we believe in God, as in we say Allah. In Arabic, the one true God is Allah. And we believe He's God. We believe He alone deserves to be worshipped due to His names and His attributes. So for example, the Quran, the first verse says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of everything that exists. Alameen, the world, everything that exists. He is the Lord of this. So he, he is the creator, the sustainer, the giver of life, the giver of death, the controller of all the affairs. Therefore, he alone deserves to be worshipped. Okay. Do you believe that 
Do you believe that God is Almighty? Yes, I do. Do you believe that Jesus is Almighty? I believe Jesus is Almighty, but not on the same pedestal as God. You understand the problem there? When you say Almighty, it is, you have control over everything. But if you say I'm not on the same level, then it can't be Almighty. You could say it's very powerful, but it's not Almighty. Yes. Okay. So you believe Jesus is not Almighty? I do believe it's Almighty. I'm okay. not going to say like okay. Okay. Almighty. We believe that God is eternal. Yeah. He's always existed and He always will exist. Do you believe God is like this? Yes, I do. Do you believe Jesus is like this? Yes, I do. Okay. Then, then this is, you've made a partner with God. I've made it. A partner with God. Yeah. Do you believe that, we believe that God is the sustainer? Yes. He's the one who sends down the rain. He's the one who's created the crops. He's created the animals. Yeah, everything. Everything. Yeah. And you believe this about God? Yes. Do you believe this about Jesus? No. So Jesus is, he's not all powerful. He's just under all powerful, but he's eternal. But eternal is an attribute that only belongs to God. So therefore you've given, like if I, if I give a brief example, we can, ha we can have a person who believes that God is one, alone, no partners. But then this person claims to have knowledge of the unseen, knowledge of what's going to happen tomorrow. We would say this person, even though they don't believe that they are the creator, they don't believe they're the sustainer, they don't believe they give life and death, but because they've claimed knowledge of what's going to happen tomorrow, they have made themselves a partner with God in the, in the aspect of knowledge. And whoever believes that person that they know what's going to happen tomorrow, we would say that person has made a partner with God. Even if it's not in every single aspect. So when you say that Jesus is not all powerful, He's not the sustainer, but he's eternal. You have made him a partner with God. That's that's the point I was making earlier. Yeah. He said he's one in God. He's yeah. part of like he's a part of God. Uh -huh. so that's the point I was making earlier. But is, is God he... one or is God multiple? As like, like multiple as in as like, that he has partners. Like for example, according to the according to the Bible, yeah. the Quran is very clear. Allahu Ahad. Say he Allah is one. Yeah. According to the Bible, Moses is reported to have said, and Jesus is, is reported to say, have said, Here O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And Jesus is reported to have said that this is life eternal, that they may know you the only true God and Jesus Christ who you have sent. So for us, the Bible is making a separation between Jesus and God and Jesus is not God. Yes. But you're saying he is and he isn't. I'm not saying he is and he isn't. Yeah. In the, the Bible it says um, three persons, one God. Like the Christian, no, okay, sorry. I'm the Bible doesn't yeah, say the Bible, that. I'm making a wrong decision. Yeah. In like some Christian doctrines. Yeah. No, Christian doctrines. Yeah. They say three persons, one God. Yes. This is the orthodox position. No, three persons in one God. One God. Yes. So that's how that's what you see. I'm trying to give you the different perspective of the, the like in the Christians have different yeah. doctrines. So you have the three persons in one God. Some people like say it's three persons in one God. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And in the Bible, when Jesus Christ was saying, he said, uh, there's going to be another messenger that will come after me. Yes. Who is more powerful than me. Uh -huh. And that was referring to the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. yeah. So, in the Bible, it means that they are messengers. They so, are not God. So you believe in a God. Yes. You believe in Jesus. And you believe there's something going to be more powerful than Jesus, which is not God. No, not there's some good more popular than yeah. Jesus, which is not God. But like how how would you in, in the in the do Bible, you, do you have children? 
No, I don't have children. Okay, when you have children, yeah. how are you going to explain this to your son or daughter? Just like, like you said, you find your, your, your truth. You see, right now, I'm also still learning. Uh -huh. You see, that's why when you came, I didn't walk away. Uh -huh. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, I, I still, because I was like, to be honest with you, I'm a Christian because I was born into a Christian family. Uh -huh. So that's why when you asked him that question, I was also asking him that question. Yeah. I, I'm a, to be honest, I'm a Christian because I was born into a Christian family. And I got the Christian doctrine. I went to the Christian, got the Christian teachings. Yeah. So that's how I say. I don't see someone's what you are telling me is wrong, what I'm, what I'm saying is right. Yeah. Give me the two sides of the coin. Let me find my truth. Do you believe Jesus was begotten? Uh, John 3:16, that God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. Yes. And the official Trinitarian Nicene Creed yeah. says that Jesus is begotten of yes. the Father. Yes. Okay. Obviously, begotten. It generally has two meanings in the English language. One is a male and a female come together and they beget a child. Obviously, this is not the intent that God beget begot Jesus. Okay. But God but beget to bring into existence. Do you believe, according to this, do you believe that God brought Jesus into existence? Yes. He brought him into, yeah, I do believe it. On earth, yeah. he brought him into existence. No, 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 but it doesn't say, it doesn't say this, that God so loved the world, he gave his, his only begotten, begotten son. Yeah. It does, you're saying that he was only begotten into the earth. Do, do, do you not find do you not find this a, a contradiction? It's problematic. That's why we have to question our, our yeah. all the time. Yeah. So yeah. don't you think that I like if I give you the Islamic concept of God? Yeah. This is a uh, chapter one hundred and twelve. Yeah. It's four verses. It, it begins by saying, "Kulhu Allahu ahad." Say. Allah, so say here the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was commanded by Allah to announce to the people, to say to the people, Kul Allahu Ahad. Say he Allah is Ahad, he's one. He's absolutely uniquely one. Allahu Samad. He is Allahu Samad. Allah is a Samad. A Samad is from the names of Allah. A Samad it means self-sufficient, completely independent, and everything is dependent upon him. So God is completely self-sufficient, not in need of anything, but everything that exists needs Him. Lam Yalid, He is not born, walam Yulad, and and none is born from Him. God doesn't have parents, and He doesn't have children. He doesn't have ancestors. He doesn't have descendants. Walam Yakullahu Kufu Wan Ahad, and there's nothing comparable to God. Does this make sense? It makes sense. It's very clear, yeah. and I would say it's something which the uh, textually we have it in Quran, yeah. but even rationally using the mind that God has given us, it makes sense. Yeah. And even the the human heart is comfortable with this concept. But Christianity is not teaching this. We believe Jesus taught this. We believe Moses taught this. We believe Abraham taught this. We believe Noah taught this. We believe our father Adam taught this. Peace be upon all of them. And we believe that Christianity changed this by saying that Jesus is God, part of God, the Son of God, etc. That's why God, by His mercy, Allah by His mercy, sent another messenger 600 years after Jesus, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to make it clear, what did Jesus teach? Make it clear who is God, what does God want from us, what's going to happen when we meet God in the hereafter, how should we live our life, and also to explain to us how the, the people from the past, they went astray, either by rejecting Jesus or rejecting messengers, killing messengers, disobeying God, or making partners with God, or by making Jesus into God. Is that not more reasonable than, uh, than no disrespect, but, but than what you are trying to explain? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's reasonable. What you are, you are saying is true. Not, like it's true. What I was saying. Yeah, what you are yeah, saying is true. Yeah. But like I was, that's what I was saying, like, uh, with the teaching I was, I was giving, yeah. the, like, through my, my teaching, no one ever mentioned that. Uh, 
Jesus is God. Uh -huh. Okay. But if he's eternal, yeah. if he's eternal, as in he always existed and always will exist, will exist yeah. you have made him a partner with God. You have given him something which is exclusive to God. Yeah. And you've given him a share in that. Yeah. You have made him a partner with God. Yes. Because that's, that's the presentation. But I'm saying Jesus never taught that. Whoever, whoever came up with that idea has lied upon Jesus. You know what's interesting? Yeah. What's interesting? Generally Christians, I mean even Muslims, generally people, they just take what they're, what they're told by their Imam, by their priest, by their pastor, by their parents. And sometimes they will, they will know selective verses or ayah from their, what they consider their holy book. But when you, you actually study deeply, but when I come to uh, Christianity, because you have the Gospel according to Mark, yeah. Matthew, Luke and John, most Christians, they're not aware of what these books actually contain. And even when they are, they make a fifth Gospel. What I mean by a fifth Gospel is they take something from Mark, something from Matthew, something oh, from Luke, something from John, <laughs> and, make and, and make it into one. Yeah. But if you look at this, According to the Gospel of Mark, the first one written, Jesus was announced as a son when he was around 30 at the baptism. That's the first time the Gospel of Mark mentions that Jesus is called the Son of God. Okay. According to Matthew and Luke, because Jesus is born by the Holy Spirit, according to the Virgin Mary by the, by the Holy Spirit, at this time he is called the Son of God. This is when he comes into existence as the Son of God, by the birth. But when you go to John, the last one to be written, this it says that Jesus was eternal. Yes. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. Only John makes his claim, but you will not find it in Mark, Matthew or Luke. So there's, there's a contradiction here. But the thing is, I would advise you really to, to look into this and to weigh it up. Because if the Islamic concept of God is the true one, and the fact that Jesus was sent as a messenger, not for all mankind, but to the children of Israel, if this is something which is, if this is the reality, this is the truth, and it's clearer to you and it makes more sense, then you should accept it. Because the, the idea that Jesus is not God, that he's with God and he's eternal, that he's not fully, he's, he doesn't contain, he doesn't have all the attributes of God, but he has some of the attributes of God. This is, I, this is not something which, which God would uh, test mankind upon, something which, which cannot be explained, something which cannot be understood. How, how, how does that sound? See, take it out because you teach, like I said, our teaching is that like, he is the son of God. See, what do you mean by son? Like, how can the son exist at the same time as the father? Doesn't the son exist after the father? Yeah, the son exists after the father. So then he's not eternal? Like, words have to have meaning. Like, what do you mean by son? What is what we say? Uh, like, you're the son of your father. The yeah, father you just spoke to. Yeah, the okay. father I just spoke with, yes. So you're similar to your father. Yes. Perhaps you look like your father. And something from your father, something from your mother. You may have the temperament, the character, something from your father, something from your mother. You're Ghanaian, you have certain tribal affiliation from your father. Your father is human, you are human. When you say that God has a son, does it have a meaning or it doesn't have a meaning? So what is the meaning? That's what I say, please, one with him. Are you one with your father? Yes, I am one. Every time I speak to my father, I tell him here and now we are one. Are you two different people though? Yeah, we are two different people. 
to different people in certain aspects. Like, so what are you one with your? Okay, what are you one with your father in? No, no. Actually, that's yeah. a different. Yeah, well, when you say that Jesus is the Son of God, yeah. what does that mean? Just like how, how the Bible, the Bible says, uh, we're creating the image and likeness of God. Mm -hmm. So we are one with God. So that would so that would that would mean all of us are, are sons of God. Yeah, we are all sons of God. No, but, no different from Jesus. We are different from Jesus. He existed before us. But, he, but he's still, but according to you, he's still the son of God. Yeah, he's still the son of God. Okay, so he existed after the Father. And he's, we're different from So he's not the eternal then? That, that's some, that's some, we're different from him in the sense that my doctrine is that he's eternal. So that's what differentiates him from us. How can he be eternal and not God? And how can he be eternal and the son of God? Otherwise, words have no meaning. So that's that's the, that's something you should find the truth about. Just like you said, uh -huh. one truth. Let me just let me just show you what the Quran has said. This is uh, chapter 18, verse one to five. It mentions, "Alhamdulillah, ladhi anzala ala abdihi al-kitab wa lam yaj'aluhu iwaja qayim liyanzira ba'sun shadidan min ladun huwa bashir al-mu'minin al-ladina ya'malun al-salihat anna lahum ajran hasana ma kathina fihi abada wa yanzira al-ladina al-qalat takhadu Allahu walada ma lahum bihi min ilmin wa la li aba'ihim kabarat kalimatan takhruju min afwahihim in yaquluna illa kadhiba so it mentions in the Quran chapter 18 ayah 1 to 5 all praise is due to him all praise is due to Allah, the one who has sent down upon his servant the book. So all praise is due to Allah, the one who sent the Quran upon his servant, his worshipper Muhammad wasallam. And you will not find in this book any crookedness. It is upright, warning of a severe punishment from him. So this book is warning that those people who reject the book, reject the messenger, do not worship God alone, is warning of a severe punishment. And giving glad tidings to the believers who do righteous deeds, that they will have a good reward. And they will abide in that good reward forever, is meaning paradise. So that's the first part. Then it says, and warning those people who say that God has taken a son. One of the reasons the Quran was sent down to warn those people who say that God has taken a son because they have no knowledge of this, nor did their fathers, their forefathers. But rather, this is a great lie which they utter from their mouth. So, like I mentioned the earlier chapter, that God is not born and none is born from Him. He does not have parents, He does not have children. This is also warning that God has not taken a son. Jesus is a messenger sent by God. Jesus was a human being, but he's not the son of God. So, if I'm not, um, what do you call it? Interpreting you wrongly. Mm. You are saying that uh, Jesus did not exist. Yeah. Until he was born of... Yes, Mary. like it, because he's a human being. Okay. I get it. So I said that he never existed. He was chosen to be a missing man. That's what he Yes. Said. Yes. Like Moses, like Moses, like Abraham, like Muhammad, like, Muhammad. Wasallam, like David, like yeah. Suleiman, like Zachariah. Yeah. Which is still a very high, noble rank to be a messenger chosen by God yeah. and sent to the people. Because even the Bible, like for example, Jesus performs miracles, but he clearly says, of my own self, I cannot do anything. Yeah. The Bible clearly teaches that Jesus was given authority by God. The Bible teaches that, you know, the head of the woman is the man. And the head of every man, the head of every woman is the man. And the head of every man is Jesus. And the head of Jesus is God. 
So the simple message is, God is one, he has no partners, no equals. Jesus is a messenger, Moses is a messenger, Muhammad is a messenger, peace be upon all of them. And this is the truth, and this is the last revelation sent to mankind. And, and this is what Jesus came with. Just, uh, for example, Abraham, as Muslims, Christians, Jews, they all respect Abraham. But Abraham was not a Jew. Abraham was not a Christian. We say Abraham was a Muslim. He was, because Islam, it means someone who submitted to God. This is just the Arabic word for someone who submits to God. So we're saying that the religion of all the messengers, like Allah mentioned in Quran in chapter 3, مَا كَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ يَهُودِيًّا وَلَا نَسْرَانِيًّا وَلَكِنْ كَانَ حَنِيفًا مُسْلِمًا وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ إِنَّ أَوْلَ النَّاسِ بِإِبْرَاهِيمُ لَلَّذِينَ تَبْعُوهُ وَهَذَا النَّبِيُّ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَاللَّهُ وَلِيُّ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ It mentions that Abraham was not a Jew. Why? A Jew is a tribal name. You know, uh, Abraham, his first son, Ismail. His second son, Isaac. Isaac, the father of Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons, the children of Israel. Because God changed Jacob's name to Israel, according to the Bible. So these are the children of Israel. One of the sons, according to the Bible, was known as Judah. So whoever's from that tribe was a Judite, which later became known as a Jew, who lived in uh, southern Israel or was known as Judah. So a Jew is a tribal name. It's not a name of a religion or something chosen by God. Jesus, Moses, Abraham never told people to be Christian. Christian meaning Christ-like. This name was given after Jesus was taken up, even according to the Bible. But, so the verse says that Abraham, Abraham was not a Jew, he was not a Christian. Abraham didn't believe in the Trinity, he didn't believe that Jesus died for his sins. He didn't believe that Jesus was, uh, was God or the Son of God. So Abraham was not a Jew, not a Christian, but he was Hanif, someone who is upright, turns to God. Hanif, a uh, Muslim, he was someone who submitted to God and he was not an idol worshipper. Then the next verse says that verily the closest of people to Abraham is those who followed him. Those in his time who accepted his message and followed him, those who follow, and then secondly, those who follow this messenger, Muhammad, peace be upon him, and those who believe. And verily, Allah is the protector of the believers. So we are calling you to Islam. How does it sound so far? So you delivered your message. To be honest, I like you. I like how you delivered your message to me. Yes. Yeah, to be honest, I it's Just like I said. Okay. Uh, you have given me uh, the truth. No, come on. What? The Quran says the truth. Seek the truth, and the truth will set you free. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Now you're giving me the truth, <laughs> and I've also been given another truth. Uh -huh. You get it. I've also been given another truth. So now I have to go and research. And research. Okay. No problem. Yeah. But thank you. No problem. Can, can I give you a Quran and some leaflets about Islam for you to look at? You can give me a Quran, the English version. Yeah, no problem. To help yeah. you with your research. Yes. But I, just I advise myself and yourself yeah. to take it seriously. I will. Because no one knows yeah. when uh, when the time is coming for us. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let me get the stuff for you. Okay, okay one moment. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, everything good? Alhamdulillah, Masha'Allah. I'll be back in a minute. No, but I'll be back in one moment, inshallah. Sir, thank you for your time. It was, a nice, it was a nice conversation. Thank you. May Allah guide us all to the truth, to the one truth. Thank you very much for your time. All right. Okay, then. Take care.